Hello everyone and welcome to another royal reading and it's a very special day today. It's the eve of the coronation. Uh, there have been heavy downpours in London today. I'm hoping that the weather is as lovely as it is here in South Africa right now. It's the most beautiful afternoon as I'm doing this reading and um, wishing everybody who's participating in the events tomorrow well from the royal family to the public who's going to be there to all of you watching enjoying it i hope it's a beautiful day uh, the kind of day that the brits do best the pomp the circumstance the pageantry that it all goes beautifully that the gods smile down and that everything is absolutely wonderful and without any disturbance in the fourth field from anywhere else and uh, we're not going to look at anywhere else directly in this reading i'm going to do a 12 card reading looking at the king's reign i have looked at this kind of thing before but it's the eve of the coronation it's all getting real now they're out and about they all look very happy uh, they've been greeting the crowds they ha had a, a big lunch today and um, all looking beautiful all looking as i say very happy good energy so in this good energy we're in the middle of the eclipse season we're on the full moon a little lot going down energetically let's check in let's do a 12 card read I have got the Radiant Tarot. It's a very royal, very lovely tarot deck. I've got it out for the purposes of this 12 card reading based on the 12 houses of the Zodiac. I'm going to look at King Charles III. I'm going to look at his reign. I'm going to see um, how it's going to go according to the 12 houses, what, what we can expect, what in all those areas that the 12 houses cover what we can expect, what we can look forward to. And um, as I say, I'm, I sincerely wish him well and the British people well. We've been through a turbulent time and quite a distressing time. And I think we've got our little reading now. And um, so let's uh, wish the best for him and his family and the British public. So, and everyone else in the Commonwealth and all the world, I think it's very important. I think that this personally, I feel it is very important that this does go well, that this energy is good and sustained and um, that we all support it. Um, because I think the royal family is a force for um, good um, in the world, can be very much a very powerful force for good in the world. And uh, so that's my opinion. And of course, it is all just my opinion. And uh, let's remind you, it's tarot, it's for fun, it's for entertainment. It's all opinion, it's all speculation. And uh, let's count the cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We have the four cards. We have Fluffy, who is here for the reading. Just woken up. There we are. And um, our underlying energy, which will be the theme is the three of pentacles a theme for this reign um, according to this energy and in this current timeline we have got three of pentacles and that is collaboration and teamwork he's not going to do this on his own i think it's already pretty clear that he is roping um william in and um you might <laughs> <laughs> wonder who the third is the third might just have flown into Farnborough today <laughs> um, but um, I don't think that he's going to be the third in this it's more to me a sign that this is a collaborative um, it's going to be a collaborative reign he isn't going to be a great dictator he isn't going to lay down the law and go it alone and uh, be isolated and, and difficult in that way I think he's going to be thoughtful and listen to advice and uh, bring, pe bring people on board he feels are supportive share his vision um, and a sharing project and we're hearing great things about the Prince's Trust. I was interested to read about Jimmy Chu and what he had to say about the Prince's Trust and how it helped him. Edward Innenfall also wrote a very beautiful thing about the Prince's Trust a while back and how much that it had meant to him. So uh, uh, there it is. I think that's a great energy as far as I'm concerned. It's humble, it's collaborative, it's um, it's not egotistical and so there we go that's our underlying energy tell me about his the, the public perception of the king um, during his reign how's it going to go his relationship with the public eight of pentacles also a lovely energy um, hard working a busy bee um, and the bee is is it, it, it's very important to the 
and the environment to sustainability to the health of the world i think he's going to be seen as very in engaged in environmental causes uh, just because of the illustration of this card this one as well just saying uh very hard working he's going to be out and about he's not going to be um staying at home and and um um, hiding away from the public he's going to get out there he's going to be seen he's going to roll up his sleeves be involved in courses he's going to be very busy i'm sure he has got a program that he wants to get through crack through his in the 70s um there is talk there is speculation that he'll get through his program and then he will hand over the reins to another member of the team sooner rather than later uh but that's that's important that's people looking at him and thinking he's not indulgent he's not lazy he's not um, aloof and distant he's he, he's working very hard that's great values the second house is normally about money your assets your things like that well um, unless things go horribly wrong the royal family is pretty well provided for for uh, <laughs> <laughs> the foreseeable future much better than the rest of us so we're going to look at values the second house also represents your values what values is he going to espouse in his reign we've got the ace of pentacles in reverse ace of pentacles upright is big money is um is being very focused on your coin very determined to make money um, to, to set a path that is a path of abundance, a path towards big financial goals. That doesn't interest him. And I was joking and saying, no, he doesn't need the money. He's got the money. He doesn't need the money because the card is in reverse. And re reversed cards are very much an intuitive thing. All tarot is intuitive. I always say that. Um, um, but because the card is in reversed, I think that he's going to be trying to spread that um, that wealth, share uh, resources, um, hope that other people are uh, provided for, uh, are supported. Um, it's not about him and his financial abundance and his goals and his long-term goals. This isn't a long-term card when it's in the reverse. It, it chimes with what I said about the Eight of Pentacles. It might even be that he's around in, uh, in, a, in a kingly role for uh, a matter of eight years, just speculating. Um, but it seems to me that he is not um, he is not interested in his own long-term goals. He is more interested in passing it on, handing it down, handing it down into the family, handing it down into um, his subjects, into the world. That's how I'm interpreting that card. You could interpret it quite differently. Uh, but that's I'm, I'm getting positive energy from that card, even though it's in the reverse. So I'm not going to um, uh, uh, interpret it in a dark way. I'm not feeling it. Um, siblings. Princess Anne was out giving an interview a few days ago. She did uh, say that she didn't think the monarchy should be slimmed down. How's he going to get on with his siblings? Of course, Edward, very supportive. And Sophie, his wife. Andrea, problem. Um, <laughs> there is Princess Anne. The Leo has shown up in the card. <laughs> um, I think she's going to be quite protective of the monarchy. Uh, protective of how she sees it her vision of it. Um, it it might it might cause a little bit of an issue um, but he's got problems obviously with Andrew Andrew was pictured out driving a lonely figure in Windsor uh, while the rest of them were doing their walkabouts and having their lunch and uh, meeting and greeting all the dignitaries who are arriving um, I think with siblings, he's going to have to be quite self-protective. He's going to have to put his barriers up, distance. And that, I, I would say, speaks to Andrew, Prince Andrew and his problems. And whatever he feels at a personal level for Prince Andrew, at a royal level, there's got to be some distance. There's got to be some boundaries. He's going to assert his can't speak assert his authority as a king the nine of wands is the wounded warrior card someone who has been damaged battered the monarchy certainly has been damaged in the past few years because of um harry and Meghan, and uh, also prince andrew and his um difficulties and um so i think charles is going to really draw a line in the sand and say don't cross it but this is also princess anne coming through very loudly in this card for me very much don't mess with things too much don't uh, change things too much we are embattled we have gone through a difficult time now is not the time 
to make radical sweeping changes. But we're going to look at changes later on in this reading. So um, that's quite a kingly card. Normally the Nine of Wands shows someone who's uh, bruised, injured, damaged, looking, um, looking quite frail. This is a very healthy energy for a Nine of Wands, interestingly. Home front, fourth house, the home front, what's going to be going on there, how are things... Just with family generally, two of pentacles. That's a, a blended household. There is a blended household there. Um, there are um, stepchildren. There are um, other people around who, um, second marriages. He's, he's got an enormous family that he's got to manage, juggle, um, give priority to, make sure everyone is happy. Uh, a, a huge family. Um, family overseas, uh, German cousins, the European um, cousins and family, Camilla's family, the Spencers, everybody. He's got his work cut out, making sure that they all feel that they have um, a sufficient attention and notice resources. Uh, that enormous family needs some upkeep and maintenance and money. And so those pentacles are going to have to be spent. There are only two. So not lavish amounts spent on family. But it's interesting that pentacles have come up in such a large way in this reading from our underlying energy, from our theme of his reign, really, the three of pentacles to the eight, the ace in, in, um, in reverse. This also tells me, I've got, we had a little nudge, financial crisis, um, UK and financial difficulties, the whole world and financial difficulties. I think this is going to be something he is very aware of that the British monarchy can't be seen to be living these lavish lives uh, while everyone else is really struggling. And I think that that has got a lot to do with why the Ace of Pentacles in, is in reverse, just by the way. So we've got Pentacles down here as well, making sure everyone is provided for and feels that they have got enough attention and enough notice, uh, balancing them all, juggling them all. Difficult to manage, but he's an experienced man, a wise man. And I'm sure he has a plan to uh, to make sure that everyone somehow uh, is kept sweet somehow. How about children? I get anxious when I look at this card, when I touch it. How about children? And the two children, the two sons, judgment in reverse. That's a sad card, a difficult card. It's our first real problem. It's a big card. One of them is not going to be getting a second chance. Uh, with the judgment card in reverse. Judgment card is, of course, an awakening, a coming around again, uh, the second coming, and that's why it's often read as a second chance for somebody. The card is in reverse. Somebody, uh, there is going to be a judgment against somebody. Somebody might be held accountable for their behaviour in a way that doesn't please that somebody who has just flown into Farnborough, seemingly, according to the Daily Mail and other people following tracking private jets, stopped off in Atlanta, curiously. Um, we might look at that in another reading this afternoon. We'll see how we go. But that is no second chances. Um, it could also mean that uh, Charles is judged for the way he's handled the situation with Harry. Uh, judged, criticised. Um, and uh, it's, it's a difficult energy. Um, Harry looks like isn't going to wake up, isn't going to come back, isn't going to slot back into the royal family. Despite that three in the centre there. Um, and, and so there is problem. There is big problem. Not a surprise. It's it's not unforeseen. It's something they, they factored in by now, for sure. And um, so how's his health going to be um, during his reign? Um, just generally. Health, ace of wands, problematic, unfortunately. Two aces in reverse now. Um, he's going to suffer from health problems, vitality problems. Um, I'm not uh, an expert in uh, medical tarot or medical astrology. I'm sure there are people out there watching this who this talks to and says this might be a particular condition. Um, I'm not going to go there. If you want to um, share those thoughts in the comment section, please do. But it does mean uh, trouble. The Ace of Wands, it definitely means uh, just generally, um, uh, um, for me as a reader, I'm, I'm seeing trouble. Unfortunately, I am seeing trouble and it's trouble that might come on quite swiftly because ones are very fast moving energy um, and um, so, yeah, um, 
the, the ones the ones could indicate that it's something that crops up quite quickly it could even crop up within the first year of his reign that somehow the issue becomes known um, a lot of people speculate he's got circulatory trouble those swollen fingers those sausage fingers which allegedly is the reason why he keeps his hands in his pockets often um, not some weird secret Illuminati signal uh, but just um, some, uh, some self-consciousness about his fingers could be a finger uh, we're not going to get more graphic and speculative and uh, biological than fingers. So we'll, we'll move away from that card. Uh, trying to keep it clean here today. Uh, marriage. And just generally partnerships. Marriage. Marriage, surely. Uh, it's a big change for them. And they are at a crossroads in their marriage This um, because of this uh, huge event in their lives that has finally arrived. It's always been hanging over them. Two of swords. Um something something has got to be decided somewhere along the line um there might be some problems with um mental faculties with um issues um that there is a decision that has got to be made um at some stage one might retire from the scenes quite early on and just uh, go quite quiet that's just a wild speculation that is my my particular opinion with the two of swords because it's it's mind it's mental functioning it's things like that and it's something that's being decided on it's something that's being held at bay for the time being we'll think about that later we'll deal with that later we're not going to deal with it now um and so I think there is some issue there. I don't think it's an issue between them as a couple. And uh, there's going to be some radical change in the relationship. But there is something. There is something. It's interesting that we're getting a tricky little um, quadrant here in the reading of difficulty. Children, health, um, relationship, not falling out, but some issue. Some issue that we're not ready to deal with it now. We, we, we're at a kind of a turning point in it. But... Not yet. Change. Change. How's he going to change the monarchy or deal with change as it comes? What's, what's going to happen with change? We've got the page of swords. He's, he's thinking about this very, very ser seriously. He's in the early stages of it yet, which is why we've got our, our um, prince, uh, princess Anne down there saying, don't rush into it, don't be hasty. This is a research card, the Page of Swords, put it, on, put it on top there. Page of Swords is about doing your due diligence, being um, studious, looking stuff up, researching. He might even be looking back into history, history books and saying, how do I do these things? How I handle these things? The things that he might be handling, just as a matter of interest, because of this card and the way this card is drawn, is things like titles and honours and um, how to deal with them in a modern world. We've already had uh, the Dukedom of Edinburgh uh, turned into a lifetime only um, title. Uh, there might be similar kinds of changes like that in future, but he's he's looking into it. He hasn't decided yet. Um, doing research, talking to people, discussing it, something that he knows might be received in quite a negative way. Because for me, the page is always is always quite a a, a, a closed off energy. Somebody who's braced for bad news. Somebody who's who's preparing themselves for difficult times ahead. So that is interesting. Um, and it all started out so lovely over here. It's getting tricky over here. How about international relations? Another very tricky um, area for him potentially. Potentially. <laughs> um, uh, busy writing day for me. I'm exhausted and it's just going to get worse for the next few weeks, I'm afraid. But anyway, I'm wanting to do these readings. I'm loving doing these readings and I'm always energized afterwards. And I hope you're enjoying them and energized by them too. Um, but international relations, of course, p uh, countries, plenty of countries wanting to become republics and most likely will. The Commonwealth uh, will go on. Uh, it's growing. The countries are actually joining the Commonwealth. But as far as King Charles being head of state, of countries like Australia, Canada, um, wherever else, some Caribbean countries, New Zealand. Um, no, probably, but let's see. Let's see how this goes for him internationally. Uh, Nine of Cups in reverse. Yeah, this is this is where it all falls apart, where they all scatter, or where they say, no, thanks, we're, we're, we're done. Uh, it's been lovely. Um, it, it, it was sweet while it, while it, while it was happening, but um, not anymore. It's, 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 
it's a, it's a dream that unravels the nine of cups in reverse upright your wish is coming true the thing that you most want happens um it, it's an emotional card as well always um being cups being connected through some kind of emotional bond and so it's people saying we don't want to be connected emotionally with you anymore it's going to be difficult for him he's going to feel that he's going to take it personally he's very sensitive he's going to think well they loved my mother they stayed with her and now that i'm on the throne they're all saying okay bye um so it's going to be hurtful for him it's going to be difficult um but not again not a surprise not unexpected how is he going to be perceived 10th house um, this is government, this is reigning, ruling, very public. This is your, your position as a leader. How is he going to be perceived? What kind of legacy is he going to leave? A high priestess. Um, I think that's a very beautiful card in this position because it, it describes him as something of a mystic, a spiritual man. Um, a man of faith I was going to say a man of God but that gives too much connotation of one particular religion and he's been through um, some turbulent times recently um, making sure that all faiths are represented at the coronation and it has caused some um, issues um, but as a man a spiritual man uh, a man of faith a man of prayer a man who's interested in the mysteries, I think he's going to be regarded as that. Somebody who was very tapped in to nature, tapped into the spiritual realm, uh, very wise, um, it's, uh, very, uh, very involved in, in the esoteric, things like that. But just somebody who possibly um, guides people into a more spiritual time and I'm drawn to this ace of pentacles in reverse again I'm feeling quite uh, strangely emotional as I say that that um, perhaps um, we are going into a more spiritual time we need to go into a more spiritual time here on this planet because uh, resources are limited our planet is in trouble and uh, it's time to treat the world differently it's time to connect with the divine and so I think that's very interesting very interesting. Um, some people might say, ooh, uh, uh, and get all conspiratorial. I don't feel conspiracy there. I don't want to go there today. Not today. Not today. How about his dreams, his visions, the things that he really believes in? Um, uh, 11th house, we've got the hermit. Um, that's not Harry. That's not Harry. It's again, it's this... Uh, this this mysticism i've got the two cards of the the mystic mystics mysticism right next to each other how he's going to be remembered how he how he's going to be regarded and his own vision his own um who he is he's a hermit he's actually a quiet retiring person someone who likes to go probably goes on retreats um somebody who is very spiritual very um who, 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 who he's a thinker a deep thinker that's what the hermit really is um he's going to spend a lot of time thinking he's going to spend a lot of time contemplating asking for guidance it's not telling me oh he's got this plan and this project and this thing he wants to do i think he's gone past that um i almost ascended out of that out of the um, the earthly realm and really is ascending into the spiritual realm and again I'm feeling very emotional as I say that there is an anointing that happens tomorrow and I think he's very profoundly moved by that um, there was a very touching ceremony with the um, the elder who came from the Amazon um, and there it is there it is interesting that we've got birds represented here who, <clears throat> who represent messages and the gods and the gods um, here on earth uh, and stuff like that so, so we're getting quite profound here we've gone through some trouble over here we've got change also a bird just by the way even though it's dressed up in its little um little outfit there um we've got birds 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 um interesting that we've suddenly got a big bird theme going on there messengers um spirit moving through him um 12th house has many many interpretations i'm going to focus on problems difficulties things that we might not see on the surface we might not be aware of but stuff that might trouble him and concern him 
while he is king. And we have got the emperor in reverse. He's going to find it difficult to be um, decisive, to be the commander that he needs to be. Behind the scenes, hence the contemplation, um, asking for guidance. How do I deal with this? Some people take to it quite naturally. The queen took to it. <clears throat> Um, you never saw her sort of doubtful and hesitant. Um, but this is an interesting card because there is an empty throne here. Uh, and the um, uh, the antlers and stuff in, in front of the throne. But the throne itself is empty. Having to compete, those are what those antlers are for, fight off the opposition. Um, he's going to find it very difficult. We're not necessarily going to see it, hear about it. We might hear about it afterwards. Uh, there might be diaries published or something like that long afterwards. Uh, where he, he records his inner doubt his um, doubt about himself as a person, about his qualities as a leader, his insecurities as a man, um, but it's hidden. It's not going to come through in any noticeable way except for uh, people who are really tuned in to it. Um, and it, it, this is going to be a difficult and lonely path for him, uh, the emperor who is in reverse there, and who might feel that he is challenged in some ways. Um, that he finds difficult to deal with. And I'm sure there are plenty of challenges out there. His, both of his sons at some level are going to challenge him. And that's what happens in the wild and in, in the wild environment, isn't it? The alpha gets challenged, the leader gets challenged and at some stage gets knocked down. Um, so that's your reading. Thank you for uh, watching it and sharing your energy here. I could really feel it as I was doing this reading today. I could feel all of you here with me. And um, let's hope tomorrow is an absolutely beautiful day. And I will see you again during the course of it.